Hey, I'm Bailey. I'm a designer and I've been using PureRef for quite a while now. Basically, it's a simple lightweight tool for artists to organize and view reference images. And it's powerful and customizable as hell. To get it, go to pureref.com, click download, choose your platform and select how much to donate. I recommend doing this as it really is great. Once it's downloaded and installed, open it up. I'm just gonna show the basics here. So this is your blank canvas. You can move it around with right mouse button drag. You can resize it to any size you wish. And you can go full screen with control F. And this works like a toggle. Let's get some images in here by dragging them from anywhere. And maybe a few from the web too. Some Starcraft, some Skywatch. Can't help myself. Or you can just paste an image that you've copied to your clipboard. That's what I do most of the time. So let's go back into full screen mode and to pan around, hold middle mouse button or left mouse button and alt. This pans around. To zoom to your pointer, you can use the scroll wheel or you can hold Z and left mouse button drag. That works too. All right. You can select and move images around with left mouse button, pretty standard. And you can continuously select images by holding shift while clicking. Now, a few of the usual commands include selecting all with control A, move them around. You can copy with control C, paste control V, undo with control Z, redo with control shift Z, and delete with the delete key, pretty basic. You can move images on the X and Y axes by holding shift while dragging the left mouse button. And you can snap images to each other by holding shift and space while moving them. So this allows them to snap to the corners and edges of nearby images. You can also scale images by holding control and alt while dragging the left mouse button. Now we're not actually losing pixel fidelity. If we zoom in here, we can see that it's still just as sharp and high resolution. Scale that back up. Another cool thing is you can flip images. If you hold Alt and Shift and drag the left mouse button, you get this. You can do it horizontally or vertically. Now let's say you want to organize your images a bit. You can move them around like this and that's fine or you can have PureRef pack them for you. Let's select a few images and hit Control-P to pack optimally. And let's do the others. Control-P, just move that over. Control-P. And maybe I just wanna move this over a little bit. Cool. Now let's name these groups. If you hit control N, you can create a note. I'll call this one art, geometry, and logos. Of course, we can bring up the context menu by right clicking, but let's hit control U to bring up the settings. Now, there's a lot of stuff in here. Notably, I like to make sure that I've checked embed local images in save file. This makes your PureRef file totally portable and not reliant on image links if you've imported them from a folder. And of course, having autosave turned on is always good. So you can change the colors, like changing things to light mode. You can set your own too. There's a lot of options here. And there are a ton of customizable hotkeys. PureRef also pairs well with your favorite image grabber of choice. I personally use LightShot, which is also very simple and fast. Overall, PureRef just beats the hell out of using Photoshop or having a ton of browser tabs for your reference images. Here's a quick example of a reference board I made for a project. See, I had all these screen snippets of UI designs in film. I was able to quickly group them, name them, compare them, and get inspiration at the drop of a hat. Isn't that cool? All right, guys. Thanks for watching.